Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. When I went down the path and started doing all my research to figure out how I was going to power my RV and also provide backup power for my home, I researched all the different uh, solar generators out there and I kept coming back to the Blue Eddy um, for a lot of reasons. So I ended up, as you've seen in a previous video, I ended up buying the AC200 Max and I purposely built the area in my RV to house it. And when it came time to combine it with some solar, um, not only to use in the RV, but to also use at home here um, or anywhere really. I mean, up in a cabin or, uh, you know, on the beach, whatever you want to use your solar generator. Um, I looked at the PV350 from Blue Eddy and it crossed off all the, uh, all the T's and dotted all the I's for so many reasons that I'll go into um, further in this video. But let's take a look how easy it is to set up. So you just take it basically, turn it on its side. Now I would suggest that you immediately open where the cables live, because it's easier that way. And then you just got a clip Top and bottom. So you just open her up like that. I'm doing this inside because it's uh, about 28 degrees in Canada. Put down your first two adjustable braces, then fold out your next side lower that adjustable brace and then fold out the other side there you go so it's definitely a one-man procedure no problem at all or one woman procedure um, whoever it is that's doing it and so let's talk about the Blue Eddy PV350 a little bit quality made this is a very heavy-duty nylon so I don't foresee any issues um, with the seams coming apart in the future or anything like that. Even though they're not waterproof, they are splash proof and able to take some rain um, or some other inclement weather if you forget them outside or whatever the case may be. They are made, they're monocrystalline panels, which are known to last longer than uh, other panels the way they're manufactured. And it has a very, they have a very high um, efficiency rating. It's 23.4%, which is higher than a lot of panels that are around 20%. So let's see how easy it is to fold them up. Same way, pull in the sides, like so, lift her up, pull it in like that, fold it over. Tuck them in, zip them up, and you're ready to go off to the new adventure. Now let's uh, dig into uh, some of the other reasons why I picked the Blue 8350 PV350 uh, portable solar panels. My criteria for the portable panel selection, lightweight and portable, efficient even in cloudy conditions, can be set up to take advantage of time of day, high performance rating and multi-purpose use. Lightweight and portable. For anyone who's ever tried to pack for a long trip, the challenge of fitting everything in limited space is true. So those folks that are living in a mobile home or a camper van or an RV with only limited real estate to store all the essentials, Portable solar panels like the Blue Eddy PV350 have lots of spots they can be put. 
However, portable solar panels can provide a much needed power source without taking up too much of that real estate. Thanks to the lightweight and compact design, portable panels can be stored and set up almost anywhere. In addition, solar is environmentally friendly, making them the perfect solution for those who want to reduce their impact on the planet. Whether you're living in a van or an RV or doing a cross-country road trip, portable solar panels are the way to go. Compact enough for almost anyone to move and carry at 30.9 pounds, 35.6 inches wide and 24 inches high, completely set up, the Blue Eddy panel is about 8 feet wide. Stable and adjustable legs for any angle allow you to catch the sun at different times of the day. The legs are strong and stable, and the way that they're attached to the panels looks strong and will last. The bag that holds the cables also has a good zipper and opened and closed without any issues whatsoever. The whole quality of the setup works quite well in my opinion. The panels can be laid flat on the patio, flat on your RV roof, flat on your picnic table. They're very versatile in what they can be used and how they can be used. And the fact that you can just lay them on their back is a big advantage. The Blue Eddy PV350 panels are a high efficiency solar panel. Monocrystalline portable solar panels are the most popular type panel for RVs. They're almost the most efficient, meaning they can produce more power per square foot than any other type of panel. Monocrystalline panels have several advantages over other types. First, they have a higher efficiency rating, many, meaning they can produce more power per square foot. Second, the monocrystalline panels are more durable and can withstand higher temperatures than other types of panels. Finally, monocrystalline panels have a longer lifespan than other types of panels so you can expect them to last for many, many years. Another advantage that the PV350 Blue Eddy solar panels have is that they're ETFE flexible rubberized solar panels, which are incredibly good looking, thin and lightweight, and work perfectly for outdoor applications. This cutting edge technology is no doubt an improvement of the old and cheaper PET solar cells coating system. Unlike traditional solar panels that need a frequent cleaning, ETFE PVs have a non-adhesive surface, so dirt is easily washed away by rainwater or a damp cloth. For a solar power user, this means that ETFE solar panels are hassle-free to own and maintain. Thanks for watching my review of the Blue Eddy solar panel PV350. Now, I've told you all the virtues of the panel. Now I have one item that I wish Blue Eddy would change in the future. And that is to have a longer cable that comes with the portable solar panels. If it was 15 or 20 feet, then you wouldn't have to have an extension cable to use coming out of your RV or your home. But that's about the only thing I could actually find wrong with these panels. I believe that the pricing is good. I believe the quality is good. And I think that they're easy to set up. They're easy to store. And they're very efficient. Anyhow, thank you for watching this video. Please leave me some comments and subscribe to my channel. And I would look forward to uh, my next video. Cheers.